got an arm cramp when I lifted the box set. They're heavy. I'm trying to do a thumbnail. Thanks a lot, Paul McCartney. Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. One of my viewers, Derek Roberts, commented last week on one of my videos. And he said, you suck. No, he said, why don't you do a video where you have two stacks of box sets? And I wrote back saying, no, that is a stupid idea. No, I didn't. But I was thinking I didn't have enough box sets in order to do that because usually it's 12 stacks of CDs versus 12 stacks. But they actually kind of do. But this isn't all of my... Uh, box sets, but it's, I think, about 20 of them. And uh, the one thing about doing these CD stacks, you know, stack one, stack two, I take them out, right? And then they're all over the, they're all over the apartment. That's the one drawback to doing it. I should just, I know, it's just, makes it more interesting showing the CDs or the box sets. So I drag some of these out from my bedroom. They're up in a cupboard for safekeeping. And so this is dedicated to Derek Roberts. Thank you for the idea, Derek. So I have two stacks of box sets, some large, some smaller, but all of them contain at least three CDs for, you know, a set. And I've tried my best, hopefully this time, <laughs> I do these stacks, stack one, stack two, and usually people go to one stack more than the other. And so I'm curious how this one is going to go. And I don't know which stack I would, yeah, I don't know which stack I would take. <sighs> so, stack number one contains these box sets. So imagine you're in you're in jail for a year again and the only music you can play luckily there's a CD player in your jail cell. I don't know how that happens but for one year you can either have stack one or stack two of these box sets. So stack one contains ugh, That's right, the box set for Red Rose Speedway. And there's even a uh, Blu-ray player, so you, you know if there's any Blu-rays or DVDs, you can watch those too. Isn't that nice? Also in stack number one, more Paul McCartney. Wings at the Speed of Sound. So all of these contain more than one CD. They, you know, bonus materials and demos. This one isn't as heavy. This was, I think, the first one I bought, I think. Mm -hmm. McCartney. I think this is, this one is uh, worth quite a bit of money now. It's, you know, to uh, purchase a so that's another one. I'll sell it to you for $1,843. Oh, I, I remember two more box sets. I have two big piles of box sets. Okay, so, so far. Red Rose Speedway, Wings at the Speed of Sound, and McCartney box sets. Don't worry, there's more. Lou Reed. The Sire Years Complete Albums Box. So it includes all of those CDs. And the Cars, the Electra Years, 1978-1987. Boy, you're going to be really highly entertained in jail. You won't be able to watch my YouTube channel for a year, year, but you'll still have high quality entertainment. It gets confusing here. I, I'm really trying to make sure that it's not too easy for you to select which stack. 
So you also get a 3 CD, and it's actually more than that for uh, the albums. It is Rod Stewart, Reason to Believe, the Complete Mercury Studio Recording. So I love early Rod Stewart. So it has the Rod Stewart album, uh, Gasoline Alley, Every Picture Tells a Story, Never a Dull Moment, uh, and then a lot of, oh, Smiler, and a lot of extra, extra songs, too. You also get the box set, Jethro Tull, Songs from the Wood. I'm willing to sell this to somebody, but for a decent price, because I know these are kind of getting expensive to buy. I just never play. I like Jethro Tull, but... And, oh, this is another heavy one. You also get the Beatles. I don't know if you've ever heard of this one. It's called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's a really weird title. Great band, though. And 3D. So, yeah, you get the set of Sgt. Pepper. Wait, but that's not all. Ugh. Fix that. You get the Beatles box set of the White Elb. But wait, that's not all. And finally, you get another heavy box set. More Lou Reed. That's right, you get the RCA and Arista album collection. So it's basically in this stack would be pretty much all of the studio albums except for Lou Reed Live and his last one, his Meditation CD. And Lulu with Metallica. That's not, I'll throw that in maybe. <laughs> you might throw it back out. <laughs> so that's stack one. I know, I know. You want to take that stack and say, that's it. Don't even tell me about stack two. I'm taking stack one. <sighs> Calm down, Larry. Stack two contains <laughs> another Jethro Tull that I'd never play. Willing to sell it for a decent price. Go check online and then mark like $20, $30 off of it and let me know if you want it. I've only played it a couple of times, but there. Jethro Tull, thick as a brick. And that's it for stack two. No, just joking. Also, in stack number two, you get Captain Beefheart, Sun Zoom Spark, 1970 to 1972, and you get one, two, three, three of the studio albums and an outtakes album. Stack two also includes one of the greatest albums of all time. <clears throat> Ram by Paul McCartney. Yeah, you get all of the little trinkets in there. You're going to be in jail for a year, so lots of reading materials and everything. Yes, there's Beatles related in stack two. That's why I, I'm hoping, you know, it's kind of even when people comment blue. The Beatles Abbey Road. with a one, two, three CDs and a Blu-ray audio. You also get McCartney 2. You also get Wings, Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars are all right tonight. Sorry. And you also get... It's a tug of war, a tug of war, tug of war. <laughs> I very, very quickly am losing viewers. Boy, this stack too is pretty, pretty good. You also get Blue Easter Cult, the complete albums collection. 
See, I gotta make snack too good. You get those and then there's more here listed. They, they didn't show all of the CDs. I think it's, it's all of their albums up to Imaginos. So quite a few. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 15, and then a CD of uh, the best of the broadcasts. Boy, Stack 2 is looking pretty good. You also get Bad Company, the Swan Song years 1974 to 1982. With Bad Company, Straight Shooter. Run with the Pack, Burnin' Sky, Desolation Angels, and Rough Diamonds. You also get the complete Them, 1964-1967, kind of a, because you get Rod Stewart three CDs. This is another one with three CDs, and Van Morrison, of course, when he was with Them. And... Yep, three CDs. Would I lie to you? It'd be funny you get to jail and there's two CDs missing. <laughs> and finally, I have two of these, but you're just getting the, one of them. I need to get the other one for this box up. Queen 40. It is... doesn't see. It's there. Yeah, I've got two of the box sets. I need to get the, um, the middle one. But I think this one contains, it doesn't say it on here, there's another little piece of paper that goes with it, but it get, it's, contains their, their last few albums. Yeah. The Works, The Miracle, Innuendo, A Kind of Magic, and Made in Heaven. So you get those. And so that's it. So for me, Stack 2, Queen, I love Queen, they're not my one of my favorite bands, but I absolutely still love them. There's Queen, Them, I don't listen to this very, very much, I prefer Van Morrison's solo career, but it's still good. Bad Company I like, but I could do a year without Bad Company. <laughs> that sounds funny. I could do a year without good company, too. And then, uh, Tug of War. Not my favorite Paul McCartney solo album, but it's good. Same with Wings. Venus and Mars. It's good. Very good. Very good. I love, love, love McCartney, too. And this one is okay. Abbey Road. And then, oh my god, Ram. If I pick if I pick Stack 2, I don't know if I could go a year without listening to Ram. And then, of course, Captain Beefheart I love. And, oh my god, I need, I need Blue Easter Cold in my life. I would be without Blue Easter Cold for a year. And then, of course, Jethro Tull. Did I mention <laughs> you can have this for $850? So yeah, so Rod Stewart, I could take her leave, but I, I mean, I still love early Rod Stewart, but I could do without Rod Stewart for one year. Same with the cars. Great music, though. Now, Lou Reed, I can't. I can't. I can't do without Lou Reed for one year. I'm selling this for $255,000 if anyone is interested. Somebody keeps messaging. I don't know who it is. And then Red Rose Speedway, which since I got this, since I bought the archive, I, first I bought the two CD or three CD and that's when I fell in love with it. And then in time I said, I got to get the box set because it's really underrated. So yeah, that, and I love McCartney, his first solo album, a lot. Eh, means that the speed of sound is 
very good, but not one of my favorites. Of course, the Beatles' White Album is probably my all-time favorite album. And Sgt. Pepper is right at the top, too. And then the Lou Reed box set. I'm going with stack number one. I'll miss Blue Easter Cult and, of course, Abbey Road, but I've heard Abbey Road so much that I could do a year without listening to it because it's all up here. And I would really miss Ram and Captain Beefheart. And like I said, Blue Easter Cult, Queen. Yeah. So yeah, just curious. I'm kind of thinking most people, but, but then if you're not a Lou Reed fan or you dislike Lou Reed, I don't think you, well, you still might choose Stack One because of the White Album and Red Rose Speedway and Sgt. Pepper. But this is fun. Isn't this fun? And thank you again, Derek Roberts, for the suggestion. And Stack One or Stack Two of the box sets, comment below. Remember to check out my Patreon. You don't have to join, but at least check it out and see all of the video reactions I've done so far. I think I have like over 30 videos there. And if you join, you can make a album or song suggestion. Bye.